In global market, there are some unique term and abbreviation which help us in the international commercial correspondence, negotiation, and finally drafting the contract and agreements. One of the most famous documents in the logistic, better say, in the combined transportation is fiat bill of lading that may be faced with in your shipping documents. So, today, we will review on most famous fiat document frames. Don't forget, we need to learn this topic to have a better understanding of um, commercial terms. Let's do it. Let's start with this definition. The FIATA is an independent global association as a reference source on international policies and regulations governing the freight forwarding and logistics industry. Uh, to new firms who are not familiar with freight forwarder brokers, they are independent brokers who provide shipping and transportation services. As example, um, custom services right so fiata is a global association uh, for shipping brokers whose members release a special document it means all rights of these documents belong to fiata members and if you need a combined transportation process to export or import um your import your freight uh, maybe you meet one of the unique fiat documents during the shipping process. Anyway, today we are going to have a short review of these documents uh, that maybe you face with. But before that, I'd like to draw your attention to this point. As I mentioned, fiat works on combined transportation, which means it doesn't support only one type of shipping method and it has usage when we have a collection of different types of shipping sometimes to transport your freight you need a truck train ship and airplane right fiata is one document that covered all these process and your shipping broker i mean freight forwarder which is one of the fiat members only leave you one bill of lading, not um, separate bill of lading for each type of shipping process, right? So now you understand why we need to know the fiat bill of lading. On the other hand, if your broker is not fiat member, you will be faced with different bill of lading for each shipping method, and this is not a combined method. This is intermodal transportation so intermodal indicates a multimodal transport carried out using the same loading units without disruption of load fcr fiat forwarder certificate of receipt or fcr if you remember in the INCO terms lesson, we talked about all types of terms in shipping and we find out uh, that if you receive your cargo exactly at the seller warehouse, the term is X word. If you don't know INCO terms, you must learn them. I will mention the INCO terms lesson link below this video. Uh, anyway, after loading at the seller warehouse, the freight forwarder leaves a special bill of lading that we name FCR. This receipt, or better say FCR, is not transferable and it belongs to the seller and there is no value for the buyer. FCR paper is green and defined framework, um, defined framework by the FIATA Association. 
The next term is Fiat Forwarder Certificate of Transport or FCT. This is transportation document and it could be transferable. I mean, you can ask freight forwarder to mention payable to the order or payable to the bearer on the paper and if they doing this job if they doing this job this document will be transferable and and even your bank accept that um, fct paper is yellow and this term has usage in x work and fca shipping terms about fca as a reminder in this term, seller transfer shipping risk after loading on vehicle and transfer responsibility after clearing all custom duties. Fiat Multimodal Transport Bill or FBL. This is the most important document because FBL is the ownership document. So, FBL is an abbreviation to indicate freight forwarder bill of lading and even the banking system accept this document maybe you ask why is important for the banking system to comment or to comment on shipping documents as you know in international transaction the banking system asks you for some document to apply for payment and shipping document is one of them so this paper, I mean FBL, is one of the essential documents. Fiat release document in different color and as you see FBL is blue. Except for FBL, there is another bill of lading, FWB. But what is difference? FBL is negotiable Fiat multimodal transport bill of lading but FWB, non-negotiable fiat of multimodal transport, way bill. And so FWB is not transferable, right? So FBL is a type of way bill. I will prepare a video about the difference between a way bill and bill of lading. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and stay for it that video I stay for uh, difference what is difference between variable and bill of lading okay therefore the fiat members use the blow forms as their bill of lading so how is fiat bill of lading different from a carrier bill of lading or other house bill of lading issued by other for others In terms of the role of the bill of lading, the fiat bill of lading performs the same role of a forwarder or carrier's bill of lading, which is evidence of contract of carriage, receipt of goods, document of title to goods, or better say, ownership, doc ownership document, fiat warehouse receipt, or FWR. If your freight forwarder needs to store your freight in the situation, they will leave you a paper as a warehouse receipt, a storage receipt. And this is orange uh, paper. Fiat SDT, Shipper Declaration for the Transport of Dangerous Goods. This is exactly dangerous good. Declaration. As you know, if your freight is to be contained in the dangerous goods list, dangerous goods list, you must declare it to the carrier company. For example, if you transport flammable products, so your shipping broker or better say freight forwarder must declare to the carrier owner company. So Fiat SDT is a dangerous goods declaration. The Fiat SDT can be used for road transport in Europe uh, instead of ADR 
and for maritime transport instead of IMGD. But here we have an important point. Fiat SDT is not acceptable for international transport by railway according to RID and for air transport according to IATA or IATA dangerous goods rules. For transport by rail RID the CIM consignment notes must be used. However, the Fiat SDT may be used as a, a supplementary document to the CIM consignment note. This declaration cannot be completed by the freight forwarder. Um, in each case, the declaration must be completed and signed by the principal before being handed over the freight forwarders. Double FI. Fiat forwarding instruction. Forwarders, forwarders form to be filled in by customers. So this is your order to freight forwarder broker, your order document. And the last document, Fiat SIC, Shippers Intermodal Weight Certification. This document is issued by uh, issued by a shipper to freight forwarder for, test for certification of the gross weight to comply with weight um, restriction regulation in certain countries. Due to your order destination, it will be better if you ask for legal weight capacity for intermodal form from your freight forwarder. Understand? Um, unfortunately, many shippers entering into intermodal strategy and um, they don't attention um, about intermodal weight difference or they don't take it as a serious, serious as they need to. So you must learn about gross weight and net weight. If you are ensuring this data after the declaration to the freight forwarder, they are responsible for an extra cost and there is no concern to you. Okay, it was a fiat document lesson. I'm going to prepare the next video that it will be about uh, judicial analysis of inco terms. If you have checked on previous lesson, uh, we've talked about inco terms, but due to the importance of this topic, I'd like to have a review on legal challenge that it's possible to face. I hope to see you again in the next video.